welcome to Morning Coffee on the Radio Vision Network. I am Mark Cook. You know, it's funny, right before we went on, I just touched my forehead, and, and of course it's shiny, because it's always shiny. You guys know my, my forehead's always shiny, but these pimples that have been on my forehead for the last two weeks have been bothering me, and I felt like they were bleeding. So I just looked at my guest, and I said, oh my gosh, is my forehead bleeding? And he said, no, you're fine. So let's introduce him right now. His name is Jim Cucinata. You know him. He does the Halo Health Report, that segment, special segment of Morning Coffee. He does it every Tuesday. And today we wanted to switch it up a little bit. I wanted to bring Jim on, and I wanted to kind of reintroduce him and talk about his company because he is the CEO, and his name is Jim Cucinata, and he is the CEO of Halo Health International. Welcome back to Morning Coffee, Jim. Thank you very much, Mark. It's actually funny to be on this side of the uh, the room. It looks completely different. You know what? It's neat, right? Because you get to do... you we. We have you're a part of Morning Coffee, so like right. you do a segment where you bring in guests and talk about specific health related items, right? Sure. The whole thing is to bring people in that are going to help the viewers live healthier. Right. It's it's a pretty simple you know concept, but you do it in a really cool way because you try to bring in the guests that are relatable to everyday health, and a lot right. of times what happens is that health goes over people's heads because the people that know about it talk about it at such a level that it's hard to kind of break down. So. Sure. Well, it's like it's smarter than you, right? So when you go in, you go to talk to a college professor, and they start talking about calculus, right? They right. could be talking about one plus one, but it sounds smart. Right. Right? So you go into a doctor or you go into, you know, your nurse or whomever you're talking to, they know so much about it, it's really hard to bring it down to patient level. Right. And, and most patients, right, and most Americans and everybody else, they read about an eighth grade level. Right. So, you know, you need to, to kind of dumb it down, and we do a good job of finding guests, I guess, that can dumb it down. Yeah, well, I, it, because it needs to be presented in a way that's um, easily communicable. Like, you, you, you don't want to talk about it in a way that the message gets lost. So this was a nice way to kind of bring it back around to what you right. do. You are a patient education company, and I want you to kind of go from the beginning uh, of of what that is like sure okay patient education like it, I guess that could be like a lot of different things but the one thing I know that it's not we're not sending patients to school right? no we do not send patients to school <laughs> right. nor do we bring them into a classroom right right so uh, I guess we could start with a little bit of a story um, company started about six years ago but probably three or four years before that I had nine herniated discs in my back and as I was sitting there being told where to go and what to do there was no way to tell me. So I went and they said, okay, my doctor's on Lincoln Drive, shout out to Marlton, and they said, go over to South Jersey Radiology. So I went over to South Jersey Radiology, they took my x-rays, but they didn't take my insurance. And that ended up being like a $1,500 mistake. So when yeah. I went back for my MRI, I said, I know I can't go back to South Jersey Radiology, where should I go? And, and, and no one had an answer. So I spent time on the phone, I did this, I did on the internet, blah, 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 until I finally found a spot that would take my crappy insurance at the time. Right. And as I was sitting there, I was like, you know what, there's, there's tons of people like myself, they don't pay attention to their health until they need their help. Right. Right? Wouldn't it be great if there was a way while they're sitting and waiting to see their doctor, if you could be told where to go other than go find it yourself? So that started the idea of the company. Um, as it's evolved... What, what we really look to do is we look to say, okay, friends and neighbors, here's how you can live healthier, but we tell them it words they can understand. We, we don't talk right. about um, cardio, angioplasty, and all the, the technical terms. What we go in and say, if they tell you that you need to have a balloon put in your you know, vein, this is what it happens. And right. We tell it very simply. Or you know, if we tell them you know, you're going to go on a gluten-free diet, we're not getting into how the... Uh, enzymes and all this stuff right. breaks down in your stomach what we tell them is you eat processed foods you eat wheat it's going to bother your stomach right you eat things you can recognize right you and i were talking about this before i can eat apples if i'm gluten free why because it's an apple right i know what the, the form of an sure. apple looks like. Right. i know what a pear looks like i know what broccoli looks like what's a cracker right right and that's what we try to teach people and, and, and we dumb it down to that level um not because people aren't intelligent but it's easily relatable yeah you know we'll give fun facts like blueberries blueberries are the, the, the best antioxidant on the on, on the, the planet. planet right and they're from here yeah so guess what during blueberry season you know we 
push people to go to Hamilton. Go yeah. pick your own blueberries. Well, I mean, because it does a couple of different things. I mean, you're you're getting the benefits of the blueberries because they're healthy and they're good for you, but then you're also helping the local economy and all the farmers and Absolutely. all that stuff, right? Yeah, so, absolutely. So it's win-win on a lot of different levels, but... You know, I wanted to mention, because I've seen the network, and I, right. I've seen uh, uh, your screens all over the place, and in full disclosure, we actually have one of your screens here in our right. in our office, in mm -hmm. the office part. And what I liked about it was that it's a nice mix of video right. and, like, static words, like a kind of like a did you know type deal. I think there was one thing, it was like, well, did you know if you did this, then you'd be living this much hell, right? Right, like, exactly, exactly. So what, what we do, right, is we kind of carve a screen up, Right. And whether it looks it's, like Sports Center. Yeah, almost. exactly. That's exactly what it's supposed to look yeah. like. Good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right? We, we, yeah. we watch a lot of sports. Take a good house. model, yeah. Yeah. So um, what it does is it, it, it tries to create a um, seamless story. So whatever the video is talking about, the side is, ta is reinforcing that message. So if you're talking about cholesterol, we'll be talking about what's good cholesterol. You know, what is it? Right. Right. What should your numbers be? Right. You know, so when you go in and you get your lab test and you look at it, you can look and say, oh, my good cholesterol is 100. Mm -hmm. Is that good or bad? Well, if I paid attention to my screen, I may remember that that's good. Right. Right. No, it's it, it's really, it, it's such a cool thing because, and I want to take, a, I, I want to take a step back because I want to make sure that everybody out there understands kind of what we're talking about. Right. Especially from the physician side, if you're a doctor having to be listening to this, kind of pay attention to this real quick. So you guys attach a computer to either a television that already exists, it needs right. to be like a, a modern TV, yeah, a right, or whatever. Right, right. So you either install the TV or the TV is there and then you attach a small computer to it. Correct. And then the network runs from your office. Yes. But it's completely programmable to be very specific right. to each site. So like you've got a little guy in a room that like is doing all the information and sending it out yeah. all over the country Correct. to different specific specialties. So if I'm a cardiologist or a heart doctor, my office isn't playing the back specialty. Exactly, right? in, in fact, it's, it's very interesting, right? So the Radio Vision Network screen is just for radio vision. The only people in the entire country that are seeing what's on radio vision screen is radio vision. Wow. If you put okay. a second one in the hallway, mm -hmm. and let's say we wanted to talk about the different shows and the personalities, that would be completely tailored to that screen. But so I could have the same. You loop, could, right? yes. You could have the same content on both. And that's so cool because think about it, uh, docs out there. You guys are expanding your offices, you're putting them in different locations, and you're changing your hours because you're trying to be more accessible to more people. So you have three offices. Right. You grab three TVs and the three computers, you put them in, and Halo Health does the rest. Does the rest. In fact, if you're a doctor and you're a multi-specialty, so let's say that, that you focus on uh, full life of, um, of care, so you could have rooms that are geared towards pediatrics, rooms that are geared towards general health, and then rooms geared towards geriatrics, each room could be running different content based on the patients that you bring into that room, and, and it really, really hones in down into what you want to tell each patient. Yeah, it's so cool because think about it. When you go to the doctor and everybody, look, it's a necessary evil. You have to go to the doctor at some point, right? But nine times out of ten, you're sitting there and there's daytime TV on. It's right. a talk show and it's normally, or a cooking show or, or something. Or there's some lousy magazines laying right. around and disease-filled magazines. Yeah, right. That are all yeah. gross and sticky and all that stuff. And you you were kind of like, let's change this game because daytime TV does nothing for anyone. Right. I was gonna say nothing for no one, but that, that's like yeah, that's a bad yeah, saying, okay, right? right? So, so what you guys you you were like, look, this is so easy because because healthcare in this country is moving towards a patient education. It's a preventative versus you know trying right. to deal with it later that this is such an awesome concept that, look, you just have to sit there and watch right. and get really good information. So I gotta take a break. When we come back, I wanna talk about some of your clients. I wanna talk about I some of the places and some of the, you know, some of the big time area uh, healthcare facilities that, that we can see your stuff. So we're taking a quick break, but we will be right back here on, on Morning Coffee on the Radio Vision Network. Stick around. Sub some sizzle. This is the way. The way it's 
always been. The way it always should be. The way it always will be. Because that's just the way it's supposed to be. Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Simply Gents, located in Marlton, New Jersey, takes care of all your grooming needs, including haircuts, straight razor shaves, massages, facials, manicures, pedicures, and waxing. To find more information or book an appointment, visit us online at www.simplygents.com. The secret weapon of a well-groomed man, Simply Gents. If you haven't been to Speed Raceway, what are you waiting for? You want to live fast? You want to make every second count? Then grab the family. Round up the guys. Speed Raceway is 100,000 square feet of excitement, whether you're a kid or a kid at heart. Speed Raceway is the place for endless fun all summer long. Log on to SpeedRaceway.com or just get here now. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to make a really great sub, this is what we do. It's what we've been doing. It's what we've always done. It's what we'll always do. So what are you doing? Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Today's show was brought to you by Alicia Kelly of Whitehorse RV Center in Williamstown, New Jersey. Alicia is your RV expert. Contact Alicia at alicia at whitehorserv.com or give her a call at 856-262-1717, extension 203. When you think of RV, think Alicia Kelly. Today's show has been sponsored by Farmers Insurance in Voorhees, New Jersey. To protect your assets and the people you love, call Mike Skoranek, your local Farmers Insurance agent, at 856-336-2553. We are farmers. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Welcome back to Morning Coffee. I am Mark Cook. This is the Radio Vision Network. We are moving right along on this Tuesday morning, and you know I, I'm sitting here with Jim Cucinata, who's the CEO of Halo Health, and Jim, you know tomorrow it looks like it's going to get back up to 90 degrees, but after that, I think we're smooth sailing, right? We're actually going to get into some fall weather. Oh, fantastic! Which is really nice, and you know as the fall comes, like people start to change their mentalities and think about different things. Like summer, your brain shut down, and and people are worried about vacations and the shore and, and all that stuff, and you know, it's really frustrating because it, it feels like no work gets done in the summer right. whatsoever. But look, it's kind of the dynamic and we deal with it and all of that. But but when fall comes around, people start thinking about things again. And one of the things that I think kind of comes back up, and I know that it even did in my personal life, that I got to start thinking about my health again. Yes. Right? Like I got to go, Absolutely. I have to get to the doctor. You know, the summer ended. I need, I haven't gotten screened. My, I haven't gotten screened. Um, uh, oh, melanoma, a melanoma screen, you know, right. in a long time. I need to go do that, but I didn't start thinking about that until the end of the summer, right? Sure. So, so here we are at a time where, where kind of people are starting to think about this thing again. And, and your company basically is a patient education company that does that in a really cool way. You, you have we they call it digital signage, but it's really a television that you control. Absolutely. And you put all the information we put all the information on, on there. So uh, when you talk about screenings and you talk about things like that that's exactly what we do okay so we go and we tell the patient hey october is insert right month. you right. know so october it, is breast cancer awareness, awareness month, month right. right that's yeah. the, one that, <laughs> the one everybody knows about right, right. but yeah. there's also six or seven other different things that we'll right. cover in a month that, that go through talking about that when we move into november right you talk about men's health but you know what we also talk about is holiday safety 
Right. Right, because it's important. Because yeah, well, emergency rooms blow up over the holidays, right? Guys, absolutely. Guys, people go crazy. They fall off their roofs, sure. right? They cut themselves making dinners. Yeah, and, they, uh, they yeah, blow their houses all, up, yeah, frying turkeys. Stuff. But it's also simple things, too, because we look at it and we say, well, how many turkeys a year do you make? So do you actually know how to handle a turkey? Right. So we run a segment every year in, in you know, November. November or December on how to handle a turkey. Yeah. Because when they, it's cooked, they when do is it, it cooked? They do it once a year, right? Yeah. They think they're experts at it. I love these guys. Yeah. They, they come out there with their electric knives and all this stuff. And I'm like, dude, you make one turkey a year. Now, you're lucky that turkey is the easiest thing in the world to make. You put it in the oven, and, and right. Right, if, as long as you time it right, it's going to come out good. Sure, you got to cook it, though. <laughs> right? Yeah, well, the undercooked turkey. Undercooked turkey is very dangerous. So that's some of the stuff that we do that kind of draws a person in. So when we talk about prostate right. cancer, we've already teed them up in the watching the screen. Yeah, it's a little bit of a, a, a like... It's a, it's a range of content that it's not all going to bog you down and make you feel bad about what's going right. on. That it's, a, it's very helpful as well. And I think that it's really interesting because you mentioned that the company started about six years ago. And, and look, it, it's hard to start a company, right? Oh, I mean, yeah. it, it, we, they, we talk about it all, all the time here on the show. I meet a lot of business owners, and, and I, I'm a big fan of, like, the Shark Tank shows right. and, and, and all of those. So as you've grown over the six years, I know that, re, that, that you were saying just a little while ago recently that you've, you've landed some pretty big health systems and clients uh, here in the right. South, in the South Jersey, Philadelphia area, uh, but kind of all over the country, and that kind of just shows how how uh, Halo Health has expanded. So, can drop some drop some names. Well, we can me. drop some names. Okay, <laughs> so actually, I'm leaving tomorrow morning. I'm flying out to Arizona for the Arizona State Physicians Association. So that's about four or five thousand doctors cool. that um, are part of an IPA, which is an Independent Physicians Association. It basically is like a buying group. Right. And they invite their vendors out to come out and see what's new and try to help grow their business based on um, bringing services to their patients. So okay. a lot of the people that will be out there do a lot of backroom things. You know, they'll talk about electronic medical records and, and HIPAA compliance and things like that. office type Office-y stuff. office type right. stuff, right? But, but what we do is we stand in front of the patient and we say to them, don't forget to schedule your flu shot. Make sure you get your physical. Right. These are the basic signs of diabetes that you need to ask your doctor. So we're, we're out there being the cheerleader for the doctor, right. giving them their message in their words, in their office, at the time of need. And, and that's what we do specifically for them. If you go across the continuum and come back to New Jersey, we work with the Meridian Health System, now part of Hackensack Meridian, and we work with Jersey Shore. And what we do with them... Wait a second. Merid Meridian is like... That's like the biggest one from the, they're the huge from the shore, like all the they're, way they're, up. They're the number four rated heart center in the country. So huh. pretty nice co client to be working. Yeah, with. that's awesome. Um, they came to us and they said, "Our in-room patient education isn't working. What can you do?" So what we did was we created a range of channels, so that if you're in there for uh, kidney failure or if you're in there for cardiac arrest or if you're in there for um, a mental health issue, we explain those issues. While you're laying in bed, we tell you how you got it, what it is, and how to get healthier. And, and we run those channels 24 hours a day. So the patient who uh, has just been put on a low salt diet can go to our diet and nutrition channel and they can learn about low you know low salt diet they can I, learn about high protein diets that's so cool that now i, I mean i don't want to like i'm just trying to kind of follow along but is, is that almost like an on-demand type thing it, it's kind of on demand right so you can pick your subject whenever you like uh -huh. but the way we do it is rather than being on demand the way the current systems are um if channel 41 is running a video the whole hospital's watching channel 41. So if you're not interested in whatever is on that channel, that's locked to you. So what we do is we kind of run like a two hour loop so that every eight to 10 minutes, a new video is being run. That oh, that's so cool. That. Yeah, and in between, it tells you very important stuff like where's the gift shop, how to get your parking validated. Right. Right, you're, you're all that new stuff. Your yeah, right. definitely. How many times have you been in a hospital and you've been like, how do I get to the cafeteria? Exactly. Yeah. What time is the cafeteria open? Right. Right, all that type of stuff. So it, it really becomes a personal education tool for the family 
and for the patient. And, uh, and it's gotten a really good response. In fact, we're working with one of their uh, hospitals now to actually bring the personalized patient education to the patient so that the navigators and the nurse educators are going to be carrying around their tablets, which they're doing anyway. Right. And we have an app on there that enables them to pull up a very specific video. So if, if a discharge planner is coming to see a patient and they're getting ready to uh, maybe use a walker for the first time, we have a video that says, here are the things you need to remember when you use the walker. And that, then the, it's really That cool. is phenomenal because let me tell you, that works on so many levels. It's a time saver for the doctor Absolutely. or the nurse. And the nurse. Because they don't have to use the words to explain it. Just watch this real quick. Watch this quick. If you have any questions, let me know. It's, it's that yeah. simple. And in most of the uh, most of the um, hospital chains are actually working with inside of the uh, the Affordable Care Act. One of the things they have to do is that document someone has been educated. So they show the video. Oh, okay. They answer some questions in a questionnaire, either a, a tablet or yeah, a paper, it could be on the paper computer, or right. a computer. And then it, it's proof that they were educated on that very Watch specific thing. That is awesome. Fall prevention is a huge one, right? right? When you go into a hospital, right? Most of your injuries are from falls. Yeah, yeah. Right? You get out of bed in the middle of the night, you're disoriented, you fall. Yeah. You go to the washroom. I was going to say it's mainly an older person thing, but I guess it's not, it's right? Not. People fall all the time. You're heavily sedated a lot of times. Stop, stop falling, everyone. Yeah. Right, <laughs> hit, right hit your call button, right? You decide, I got to go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom. Right. Well, you fall. Well, the, the risk prevention uh, department has a video that we show on their welcome channel. And the welcome channel tells them, you know, one of the things we don't want you to do is get out of bed unsupervised. It helps reduce falls. Right, right. So Meridian is Meridian is huge. Is there anybody else we wanted to? Uh, well, we have to give a shout out to our friends over at Thomas Jefferson. We've been working with them for a really long time, and uh, it's interesting. We've been um, working a lot Thomas with Jefferson, the, huh? The, the Kimmel Center, yeah, the Kimmel Cancer that's Center. That's awesome. Uh, we've been working with uh, Radiation Oncology, and we've been working with uh, the Breast Center. They're two of the bigger ones, as well as Urology, um, OBGYN, Dermatology. Uh, we're trying to uh, expand into the Navy Yard. I, I mean, Jeff, everybody cardio, Cardiology, Jefferson. yeah, vascular. Jefferson's you guys should shout all of them. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's that's huge. I mean, we're talking about the top, one of the top health systems in, in the entire region. That's Absolutely. That's phenomenal. And I don't want to, uh, I don't want to confuse the message, and I don't want to, like, uh, kind of go, like, in a weird direction, but because we are, you, you're health. You are a health company. Yes. But... The technology does translate across other businesses, yes. other other ideas, and all of that. So, if you're thinking to yourself, "Well, wait a second, I'm a, I, I've got this uh, auto body shop, and and I've got a TV in my waiting room," is there anything? It's actually, yeah, they're they're great, right? Specifically with auto body shop, think about all the things they do. So they paint, right? Yeah. They paint the whole car, but maybe they paint, they do fenders. Yeah. They replace parts. They replace windshields. Everything that, that they do, every product and service that they do, they need to tell their, their client because when I'm going in, I'm going in because I got front end damage. Right. That's all I'm going in for. Right. Oh, wait, you mean that you guys detail? Oh, you guys pimp out the car? Oh, right. you guys do windows? Oh, you can fix the interior? All that stuff is stuff that you didn't know until you walked in. Financial planners are great for that, right? Because oh, yeah. they have a portfolio of products that they're, that they're trying to sell you products and services, but I'm only going in there because I'm having my review. Right. So I'm going through my review. I only know the, the product services that they've presented to me and that I've bought, mm -hmm. but maybe I need life insurance. Good time to tell me is before I meet with this person. Tell me about life insurance. Maybe I need to buy individual stocks or be in cash or be in international. Small cap, large cap. What is what's the difference between small cap and large cap? None right. of this stuff's intuitive to me, but while I'm waiting to see my planner, it's a good time to tell me. So well, I just thought of something really quick because I, you know, I when I go to my accountant's office, it says on this little this little monitor, it says you know, welcome Mark Cook. You know, right. you're we will be with you shortly or something like that. What if it was more dynamic? Exactly. Right. What if there was a message that said, "Hi, Mark." Make sure that you re you have reviewed blah 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 blah, blah and and we're gonna we'll be with you in fifteen minutes. Watch this video about whatever. Right. How cool that is! So cool, and it's so easy for us to do. Yeah, it, it really is. And and if you ha if if any business owner has 
more than one product to sell, they should talk to us. Yeah, because the other thing that I'm thinking is restaurants. Right. Right? Because I'm sitting in, like, look, restaurants are, 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 are awesome, but a lot of times you've got to wait for your table or, mm -hmm. or there's, a, there's a lobby or a waiting room area. What if I had a TV that was programmable that I could put specials or right. pictures of, the of my menus? Yeah, or, or late night or, menu. You're, you're, do you do do catering? Do you have special events? Yeah. I could, I could like could you incorporate like a Twitter feed? Like, Absolutely. You could do all of that stuff, all that. right? Facebook, Twitter. I mean, we could put um, things where we could we could stream this show on the video side. That's and, what we should do. Right. That's what we should do. Everybody out there. Call Jim Cucinata at Halo Health, and we'll put the system up, and we'll put the show, Absolutely. we'll put our show on the system. That's perfect. I love it. Sure. I mean, people, hey, who wouldn't stay and have an extra cup of coffee to watch you? It, well, I, I totally agree with that, except we were saying that we wanted to get away from daytime TV. Yes. So, I, look, I'll make sure that if you put me on your screens, that we will talk about stuff that will be relevant to all of the patients. Well, the other thing that's kind of cool, again, I'm thinking about <laughs> restaurants, maybe not inside of... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, oh, listen, restaurants would be, that would be The other perfect. thing that we could do is we can actually, in a restaurant, incorporate regular TV. Okay. So they could have ABC News or ABC running on the one side of the screen, and on the other side of the screen, they could be talking about all of their specials and why you should really come back to this restaurant. Wow, so you can incorporate that with your stuff. Absolutely. That is so awesome. Um, I'm gonna take another break, and then I'm gonna come back, and, and I, wanna, I wanna talk a little, just a little bit. You got a few more minutes, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. All right, I'm gonna, excuse me? We're gonna take a break here on Morning Coffee, and we'll be right back on the Radio Vision Network. Today's show is sponsored by Hardgrove Demolition, your demolition experts. Hardgrove is a family-owned and operated business right here in the southern New Jersey area, bringing you 45 years of demolition expertise. Hardgrove has all your demolition needs, from emergency demolition service to demolition equipment rental. Hardgrove is one of the state-approved recycling facilities right here in the southern New Jersey area. No job is too big or too small for Hardgrove Demolition. Contact them today at one of their three locations. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to give a sub some sizzle, this is the way. The way it's always been. The way it always should be. The way it always will be. Because that's just the way it's supposed to be. Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. If you haven't been to Speed Raceway, what are you waiting for? You want to live fast? You want to make every second count? Then grab the family. Round up the guys. Speed Raceway is 100,000 square feet of excitement, whether you're a kid or a kid at heart. Speed Raceway is the place for endless fun all summer long. Log on to SpeedRaceway.com or just get here now. When we make Beyond Natural Dry Dog and Cat Foods, we start with real meat as the first ingredient. We leave out corn, wheat, and soy. And we own where our dry food is made. 100%. Can other brands say all that? For nutrition you can trust and your pet will enjoy. Does your food go beyond? Learn more at PurinaBeyond.com. Extra Innings is the nation's premier indoor baseball and softball training center featuring indoor batting cages, seven multi-use tunnels, and training rooms. Extra Innings can provide professional instruction, private and group lessons, and the best year-round clinics. Along with a nationally recognized pro shop that features the latest and widest selection of equipment and apparel, our experienced staff can provide you with the right instruction and help you find the best equipment for your ability and budget. Extra Innings, where the game never ends. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Martha, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more.
Welcome back to Morning Coffee. I am Mark Cook, and we're wrapping things up here on the Radio Vision Network with the CEO, Jim Cucinata of Halo Health International. Now, Jim, we were talking, we've been, this is so cool, right? And, and like, we've talked before, so, like, this is a little bit of a refresher for me, and, and hopefully some, some people out there are catching this information, and it's re, reaffirming, or they're getting it for the first time, or whatever, but just to reset, you do, you do patient education by installing uh, digital televisions and computers into doctor's offices. Uh, it could be any format, but, do right. but doctor's offices, and you create the content and, and run pertinent information, right? So we're talking about televisions and computers and, and technology and being able to transmit all over the world, really, from, from this, uh, this, this station, you're, from your office, right? We're, right, right, Cherry right, Hill. The whole hub, right? So it's gotta be really expensive, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> so what we did, right, was we, we looked at the, the, our competitive landscape. And if we're truly trying to replace cable, then right. we need to be a replacement cost for cable. So right. our, our typical package is less than the Comcast Verizon's pa business package. Per month. So, per month. And, so and we you include save, equipment. Okay. So basically what you're saying is that a doctor can, if, unless, a doctor can cancel their TV service. Absolutely. And you guys come in, come and it's right cheaper in. and better. And better. Wow. Right? Well, it, it's better even if you don't like the idea of patient education, but you like the idea of yourself. As a doctor, you get to tell your patients what you believe in. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, Jim. Most doctors I know don't have big egos. <laughs> yes, you guys do. I'm just <laughs> kidding. Relax. Oh, come on. We're just having a little bit of fun, but... But what you're talking about is a cool thing. Right. Is that the doctor can showcase themselves on their network. Yes. They can talk about surgeries they've done. They can talk about leading research they've done. They can talk about being the leader in the field. Absolutely. And that's that's a cool thing. It is. And, and you know, I have to, the bad pun, it, it, the cost is less than a latte a day. So it's not a latte of money. All right. So... <laughs> was horrible it was horrible but i kind of liked it I'm a, I'm a pun guy you know that yeah. so so <laughs> where do i where do i go from there it, it's uh it, it's not a latte of money but but i think that the value of it and and the thing that i that i'm trying to learn more and more about halo health international is that like the value you can't necessarily quantify it in terms of like the patient right because they're getting knowledge that they didn't get before. They're getting entertained. They're getting all this right. stuff. So, so I guess there's a way to put a dollar value on it. But for the doctors, it, there's a, there's just this tremendous, tremendous value because it saves them time, money, energy, all right. of these things that are so valuable to the physician that you guys can kind of knock out. Yep. In one stop shopping. Absolutely, and we actually can make them a lot of money, right? So if you think of a health system, think about. Uh, a large health system. So we'll pick on uh, Hackensack Meridian because they're a great client. They're a partner of yours, right. Right. So it, it, when we finish working with them, they're going to be able to put a system inside of every one of their offices, let's say. So if you're sitting in a general practice office and they say you need to go get an x-ray, we're going to go tell them which radiologist to use, what their three different locations are from that office, so that it keeps the patient in network. Lots of reasons why you want to keep a patient in network, right? One of the, the, the most important things is you want to be able to manage what's going on with them, right? Keep the electronic medical record right. together. Right. You want to know what kind of medication they're taking, and you want to be sure they're following up because you want to reduce emissions, readmissions. Right. right? So it, what you want to do is you want to direct behavior, and you want to help them navigate your health system so they stay inside it, which helps you manage the patient and get better outcomes. So we actually do save the money and reduce cost because we're partners with them all the way through and we do it with a I hate to say it, a stupid TV screen, yeah. a little computer behind it. Right. Right. It, it, it's very underestimated technology because what we're doing is saving them from having to explain, well we have a radiologist on one two three Elm, one two three main, right, and right, one, right, two, right. Three group, and here are the phone numbers got on the screen. Yeah. If you go in because your arm hurts, right, you're going to go see your, your doc, chances are 
They're going to send you to go get an x-ray. Yeah. They're going to send you to an orthopedist, right? These yeah. are the type of things you should know intuitively, and we help you navigate that. Yeah, and, and listen, I mean, it helps uh, from the business side of things to make sure that people are aware of what's in their network, what's not, what's available to them. Right. Keeps kind of keeps the dollars where they're supposed to be. Yeah. I mean, because at the end of the way, day, we're in a business, they're in a business. Right. Right. If they're not generating enough revenue, they can't pay the doctors that they need in order to help the patients. Right. Right. So it, it all works hand in hand. And like I said, you're going to have TV in your waiting room. Right. You can Either put way. whatever you want yeah. on it. You can run uh, Pick on Rachel Ray only because she's run this segment. You can run Rachel Ray with medical malpractice and, 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 the, and how right. to identify if you've been malpracticed in yeah. the waiting room. Or you can run How to Live Healthier, How to Live Better. These are the services I offer. These are the personal statement of how I help you live healthier. It's a no-brainer. So I was just, I'm just wondering, did that happen to you? Did you walk into a doctor's office and saw Rachel Ray talking about medical malpractice? I did. I actually walked in, and I walked <laughs> into the office, and I had my thing, and I said, you know, I'm the owner of this company. This is a really neat thing. And they said, we like our daytime TV. And I turned around and watched the daytime TV, and I turned back around, and I said, do you know that Rachel Ray is running a medical malpractice yeah. segment right this second? She's telling well, all your patients what to look for. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. How do you recognize if you've been, had a, a malpractice yeah. and, and who to call? Yeah. And I said, you know, th this is exactly what we're trying to do. And she's like, well, we, we like Rachel Ray. And I said, okay, well, you're not the office for us then. Yeah. Right? I mean, I don't know what to say to somebody like that. Listen, you know, you're always going to encounter people that are stuck in their ways and, and all of that. It's a shame because a lot of the uh, people in the front of those offices, they call them the gatekeeper, right? Right. Because they they ha allow access to the person that makes the decision. And it's a shame in a scenario like that because the gatekeeper said, I like my Rachel Ray, right. but the decision maker probably would have liked to hear your idea. Oh, absolutely. And and, and he or she's hair would have been on fire if they knew find that out. Yeah. the medical malpractice was being on that. Screen. So here it is, Jim. Um, I, it, I, this has been awesome this morning, and, and I hope that I hope everybody out there enjoyed it. But as our old Philadelphia Eagles football coach used to say, the time is yours. You are going to look right into camera three, Invite everybody, website, phone number, uh, just any information that you want to give right now at Camera Excellent. 3. Well, I'm very excited to be looking into Camera 3 because I've been sending my guests here for the last uh, 8 or 12 weeks. So I am Jim Cucinato. I am the CEO of Halo Health International. We can be reached at 856-520-8655. Our website is www.haloheals.com, H-A-L-O. H E A L S dot com. You can reach me at Jim at Halo Heels dot com. You can check us out on Facebook. You can check us out on Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, uh, Mosaic Hub. We have it all covered. You can learn about how to make your practice more profitable through education. Uh, education is something you have to do anyway. You might as well make money off it. I appreciate the time today, Mark. No, oh, uh, you're quite welcome, man. I want to make sure that everybody knows that they can catch Jim on Morning Coffee on his own Halo Health segment, where he's going to be bringing you great guests to talk about your health and all of that stuff. Uh, so Jim is a part of the Radio Vision Network family here, so you'll be always be able to see him and get good information from him every Tuesday morning at 9:30 on Morning Coffee. And uh, always, if you're interested in, in getting in touch with them, the, the website, again, was haloheels.com. Awesome. Jim, thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Thank you for it. having me. So that's going to do it this morning for Morning Coffee. But we had a great one. And guess what? We'll have another cup tomorrow. So have a great day, everyone. And we will be back here on the Radio Vision Network. Sub some sizzle. This is the way. The way it's always been. The way it always should be. The way it always will be. Because that's just the way it's supposed to be. Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Simply Gents, located in Marth, New Jersey, takes care of all your grooming needs, including haircuts, straight razor shaves, massages, facials, manicures, pedicures, and waxing. To find more information or book an appointment, visit us online at www.simplygents.com.
The secret weapon of a well-groomed man, Simply Gents. If you haven't been to Speed Raceway, what are you waiting for? You want to live fast? You want to make every second count? Then grab the family. Round up the guys. Speed Raceway is 100,000 square feet of excitement, whether you're a kid or a kid at heart. Speed Raceway is the place for endless fun all summer long. Log on to SpeedRaceway.com or just get here now. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to make a really great sub, this is what we do. It's what we've been doing. It's what we've always done. It's what we'll always do. So what are you doing? Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Today's show was brought to you by Alicia Kelly of Whitehorse RV Center in Williamstown, New Jersey. Alicia is your RV expert. Contact Alicia at alicia at whitehorserv.com or give her a call at 856-262-1717, extension 203. When you think of RV, think Alicia Kelly. Today's show has been sponsored by Farmers Insurance in Voorhees, New Jersey. To protect your assets and the people you love, call Mike Skirani, your local Farmers Insurance agent, at 856-336-2553. We are farmers. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Today's show is sponsored by Hardgrove Demolition, your demolition experts. Hardgrove is a family owned and operated business right here in the southern New Jersey area, bringing you 45 years of demolition expertise. Hardgrove has all your demolition needs, from emergency demolition service to demolition equipment rental. Hardgrove is one of the state approved recycling facilities right here in the southern New Jersey area. No job is too big or too small for Hardgrove Demolition. Contact them today at one of their three locations. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to give a sub some sizzle, this is the way. The way it's always been. The way it always should be. The way it always will be. Because that's just the way it's supposed to be. Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. If you haven't been to Speed Raceway, what are you waiting for? You want to live fast? You want to make every second count? Then grab the family. Round up the guys. Speed Raceway is 100,000 square feet of excitement, whether you're a kid or a kid at heart. Speed Raceway is the place for endless fun all summer long. Log on to SpeedRaceway.com or just get here now. When we make Beyond Natural Dry Dog and Cat Foods, we start with real meat as the first ingredient. We leave out corn, wheat, and soy. And we own where our dry food is made. 100%. Can other brands say all that? For nutrition you can trust and your pet will enjoy. Does your food go beyond? Learn more at PurinaBeyond.com. Extra Innings is the nation's premier indoor baseball and softball training center featuring indoor batting cages, seven multi-use tunnels, and training rooms. Extra Innings can provide professional instruction, private and group lessons, and the best year-round clinics. Along with a nationally recognized pro shop that features the latest and widest selection of equipment and apparel, our experienced staff can provide you with the right instruction and help you find the best equipment for your ability and budget. Extra Innings, where the game never ends. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. 
Come see our new location in Marlton, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more.